What's up creator, today I'm going to show you how you can do this smooth zoom in effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So you're probably like me and face this little problem here where you try to make this zoom in and it just looked like this. I think we've all been there and we also tried to use the graphs but it just didn't do the job. So today I'm going to show you how you can do it on the easy way without any hassle and yes we are going to use fusion but it's super easy it's not intimidating at all so just follow along all right so our regular process or what i also did in the past was using the inspector tab and just change the transform but i'm going to show you how it looks like so we are going to create some keyframes for zoom and position here and you can click on this little diamond here so you can see your keyframes then i would zoom in Let's say 1.5 as well as we're going through this tutorial and change the position so we have the bmw sign in the middle and at the end i want to reset it to where it is all right so let's play through yeah it looks it looks kind of weird right it doesn't look really smooth even if we add some motion blur but we cannot really add motion blur here and also if i want to have some curves in the position and the zoom so let's do um, zoom first let's make it like this and like this and in the middle of course linear so let's see how it looks like and yeah you see this weird black bar on the side this is what's going to happen and it really looks bad because we also have to do this in the position keyframes but it just doesn't work so let's let me show you real quick just so you can see what i mean so i would do the same here yeah it, it's just weird <laughs> it just doesn't come out as we want it to also with using an adjustment clip and a transform effect it won't give you the same effect as we are going through this tutorial so you can use this transform but it will just won't do it i mean you can add some motion blur here but but it's going to look about the same so pretty crappy all right so let's jump on to this tutorial all right i just prepared two clips here which you can see this one and this one and i also added some speed ramping as you can see here when i press ctrl r you can see the speed ramping happening you can also take it down like this but i like to stack it on top of each other just to have a quick overview here and as you saw in the intro i'm going to zoom in here on the wheel all right so i want to have the zoom in on the first clip so i'm gonna right click on the first clip and create a new fusion clip by clicking on a new fusion clip then i go down here into the fusion tab and if you don't have this window here you can go to media out and press number two and you will have this output here usually it's by default like that and i also like to have the second window but usually you will end up like this with one main window so let's scroll through the clip and i probably want to have the zoom in here at frame 18. all right go to media in one and press shift and spacebar and then type in transform all right add transform here and it will connect it automatically otherwise if it doesn't you can go here and drag and drop it and also hold down shift until you see this line and it will connect in between media one and media out one now i'm going to create some keyframes here for size and center because probably it's not in the middle as you can see here with this crosshair so i go a couple frames back like so like five frames but we are going to adjust that anyway i'm going to create keyframes for center and size again and then i go around here and create another two keyframes and at the end of course where the zoom in should end and we see the keyframes here with the white dots if you don't see that you're on the wrong node here so click on transform one and you will see these dots here again as you can see the clip didn't change at all so we are going to our second keyframe here and change the size as we want so let's say we go here to about 1.5 now it's not in the center anymore so we are going to adjust that as well until the crosshair is 
perfectly aligned with the BMW sign. Now we copy the size, go back here and enter the size again 1.5 and also change the center to around here where we are in the middle. Okay, let's see how it looks like. And this is what we wanted. Okay, now it still looks a little bit choppy. So we are going to transform, go to settings and add motion blur. And as you can see, it adds a lot of motion blur already when it zooms in. And this is what we wanted. This looks a lot more realistic, but it doesn't give that fade in effect, that ease in effect we want to get. So we go up here to spline and then we are going to activate our transform one because we have the size and also the center path and now you can click on this button here to so you can see all here it fits in the window and these are keyframes down here so we are going to select the first four press s on your keyboard to smoothen it out and do the same at the end here and press s Okay, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, this is a lot smoother, right? You see this? And now if you want to change it, I mean to change the speed of it, so you can either select these two keyframes here in the front or in the back and just move them around like that. And hold down shift so you can stay at the same height. That means the size won't change. So if you play it through, it's a lot faster, see? But I want to have it smoother, so I will leave it like this. But I'm going to change this handle here. So it just launches directly at you, you know. You, you go really fast, like this. Yeah, but this has to match, of course. So we do it down here as well. Yeah, now it looks a lot better. And that's already it. That's the secret of these smooth zoom in effects. Instead of doing it here in the transform tab, you do it in fusion and it will look so smooth. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you have any further questions, please let me know down below in the comments. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. That would help my channel a lot for the future and Here's maybe a video you might be interested and I hope I see you in the next video.